So we're going to have our first uh, new meeting at 9.30 on Monday, April 12th. And then our, uh, we're going to have the Queen's meeting at uh, 11 on April 13th. And uh, immediately after that, there's going to be a coalition meeting of the Racial Justice Committee. Uh, and there's been discussion about uh, incorporating some uh, proposals for, for revisions to some of the standards, including very importantly, um, to make a new standard 12. So the standards are divided up. Uh, you have um, the members, then the relationships, space, work order day, employment, education, and functions of the clubhouse and, and the uh, funding. Um, and uh, so adding the additional relationship rule standard of uh, accepting diversity and, and making sure that uh, there's diversity. Uh, as, as said, the clubhouse community of staff and members shall be curious, self-aware and intentional in expecting and encouraging and celebrating diversity. Clubhouse staff, leadership and board of directors will reflect the community they serve and will seek every means possible to eradicate instances and attitudes of racial, religious, ethnic, and identity bias, economic status, or immigration status. Okay, and this is very important, critical, vital, and relevant. And I have something that I, I feel is also important and I wrote about it and I want to just share it as well um, because it's important because there are people who are physically disabled and also people who maybe have vulnerable immune systems and also people maybe more people of, of senior age, but it could be of even uh, other ages as well. But um, this would be relevant to the section on members to include that we have the capacity now to, uh, to connect remotely and virtually by phone and by computer, and that a member can choose to utilize the clubhouse remotely to the extent that the ability is there, especially in consideration of uh, limitations with physical location, geographical transportation limitations, and ambulatory limitations. So this is important, I believe, to add, and is another form of diversity as well. And we, the clubhouse was physically closed, but this year we enrolled people virtually, we suspended people virtually, and we've conducted business virtually. It's important to include that. And I believe that this can also go in the section on the work order day to add that because we have experienced Zoom meetings in the work order day in conjunction with the the, the, the limitations of because of um, because of the, the shutdown and uh, of the physical space that we can fairly and legitimately consider that a work order day can be virtual and that there are tasks that can be done remotely on Zoom, including administration, research, enrollment, orientation, reach out, hiring, training, evaluation, of staff, public relations advocacy, and evaluation of clubhouse effectiveness. These are, so people who have limitations of an ambulatory nature or are physically in a location that is not conveniently situated to the physical clubhouse or in conditions where there is limitations to the physical capacity because of, of uh, the need to limit how many people are in the clubhouse because of the pandemic, because of shutdown, or 
because of even with reopening that it cannot be on, on a, a, an overloaded capacity and the capacity is limited, that we need to incorporate that people who may very well choose to conduct business virtually, and this is um, now a viable and acceptable matter that it, it's demonstrated all over. Our clubhouses can meet with each other virtually for that reason. Uh, there's um, the, uh, the, 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 uh, when we had the, the, uh, the clubhouse um, convention of uh, the, the conference, the New York conference, the international conference, the European conference, these were all done virtually. We, uh, I, I've met with other clubhouses virtually. I've met with the Israeli clubhouse virtually. The, the standards committee, uh, all the people in the, uh, uh, the international uh, clubhouse coalition for the standards review committee, people meet virtually. And so it could be incorporated this way. So also the section of the function of the house standards 26 and 32. We have the ability to meet and connect virtually is therefore provides an alternate choice when transportation is an issue uh, for whatever reason it could be, you know, if, if there's ice on the ground or if there's bad weather, if it's torrential rain or if it's a blizzard, connect virtually, be safe. Um, so the functions, we can function virtually, transportation can be a hardship, virtual connection is a viable alternative. Um, standard 32 uh, about the recreational and social programs during evenings and, and weekends and holidays. We, the um, virtual activity, social programs, weekends and holidays in bad weather are a viable alternative on Zoom. Uh, I had a, a very good time uh, in a uh, social uh, activity on Saturday on Zoom. We watched a wonderful movie together remember the titans so i believe that this is important and, and i'm i made this as a video as well as writing it because i believe that if somebody doesn't want to read it or doesn't check their emails that it, it should be able to be viewed virtually on facebook or we have the ability to connect virtually if to to um to communicate information as well um, in fact, for some of the presentations that have been uh, involved, it's, it's a lot is done virtually. The, the meeting for uh, the, the Committee on Racial Justice, the, the Status Review Committee, uh, a lot of Things are done virtually. I take classes in Manhattan Neighborhood Network to um, improve my uh, skills and, and abilities with communicating in, in social media on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Instagram. These are the modern means of communicating, and it's something important. Uh, the clubhouses on an international level and on the various clubhouses are taking that on more and more. And it's something that we can strengthen. So thank you.